So, your fun fact of the day is that, where is it, raw, unprocessed honey from about a 15 mile radius of where you live will actually help you with your allergies. So what you need is you're going to need a spoon, it's about a tablespoon every day, every day. gonna pour some honey on my spoon here. I actually learned this while um, interning at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum is we actually give coyote um, a tablespoon of honey every day because it because he has allergies and he doesn't have them when he takes his honey. All right. Well, here I go eating my honey. Mmm, so good. Henry, I walk in the room and Henry is out. He's just sitting on his log. All right. Let's go ahead and um, mist him. I think he's good on food. Let's check the food. See if he's good. Uh, he needs a little bit more food. So I'm going to go do that. Give him some more food. Mixing of Henry's food. Have some crested gecko diet right there. So yeah, <laughs> I swashed out with a little bit of water, and I have an old toothbrush that I use. Yeah, if you do that, if you clean your animal stuff with um, a toothbrush, just make sure that it gets into a different um, place so that you don't use it. I accidentally. Um, Use the one I had been cleaning Henry's uh, food dish with, and it was nasty. But I didn't get sick, so there's just a little bit more. Let's just pour in. Yeah, that's about the end of the Crested Gecko diet, so we're good on that. And then pour a little bit of water in there. I usually measure this out, but on camera it's okay. Alright, that looks good. Mix it around. Alright. Let Sparky lift the spoon. That's why it's all uh, torn, is that he was actually taking the spoon and, like, biting it. And so if I let him lick it, he doesn't bite it anymore. I told you, he's a spoiled dog. But I figured, it's Crested Gecko Diet. All it's got in there is vitamins and nutrients and... I don't think you could possibly harm him. If it does harm him, let me know. If you if you think that, you know, if you know for a fact that it would harm dogs. But personally, I don't think so. Uh, so now we're going to give him a nice spray. i got to fill up the um, water bottle first. I keep my uh, reptile and amphibian water in like big water jugs. It's easier that way than filling it up all the time. Oh look, we got a little froggy He's sitting on the log right next to the waterfall. Who is that? I don't know who that is. That might be Duke. He's a huge one. Oh, and there's another one. Haha, <laughs> they're all out. They're like, hey, feed us. I'm sorry, I didn't order the crickets in time. I have to go out on Friday and buy crickets for you guys, I know. Alright. Now, I just going to mist him. Mist, mist, mist. Alright. Okay. But the real purpose of this video, and yes, I didn't have any makeup on, so deal with it. Why do women, why do we as women think on YouTube that we need to wear makeup? I just, I don't understand it. So, actually, my new arrival is in here. Um, wasn't planning on getting anything new, but um, went to Petco just to get worms and couldn't resist 
um, the little baby crested geckos, and I've never had a baby crested, so um, I got one of those. And so I usually pull him out just to make sure he's still in here, because the tub, the lid, is for a plastic tub and not really for this 10-gallon tank. Um, so, yeah, I need to go out on Friday. When I buy crickets, I'll buy a screen lid. Okay. Let's be careful. He's really hiding on here. Alright. Push that back in. Hang on. I'm going to find him, and then I'll show him to you. So this is my new um, little crested gecko. As you can see, look, that's my finger right there, obviously. And she is so tiny. Well, I don't know if it's a he or a she yet. Um, it's still really early to tell. Um, I'm calling her Maeve. I'm calling her a her, even though it'll probably turn out to be a boy. So when Maeve gets bigger, and I really identify whether it's a girl or a boy, I'll change the name of the boy, but yeah, um, so yeah, somebody looked at the pictures on a reptile site, oh, she's on the, the cord of my camera, and, um, said she was a red flame, uh, so yeah, so Henry's a brindle, a buckskin, and she's a red flame, and I know you can't tell really well, um, because it's dark, um, out right now. It's night time. But, um, yeah, I took this at night. But, yeah, she's great. Um, I'll let you know how she's doing. Um, it's kind of sad. My, um, leopard gecko that lost her tail, um, that was Cleopatra, she, I had put the towel on the second night and she actually escaped and I've torn my room apart looking for her. I even cleaned it the other day, like, super neat and clean, and, like, looked up under and over and in the closet and everything again, and I still can't find her. So, hopefully she'll show up still alive. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping it's, it's not that, you know, I'm kind of bummed, actually, about it. So, I understand some people are going to be mad at me, but, um, that's just the way it is, so there's nothing really I can do about it. I did my best, um, but, yeah, I mean, I've looked everywhere, so until she shows up, I can't really do anything about it but leave food for her, so don't know what to tell you guys, um, but, yeah, so this is little Maeve, really adorable. Alright, that's about it. That's all that I have for today. Um, yep. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>